Everyone's always complaining about my hair. Is it good now? If I look tired or sick and looking in the viewfinder, I do look pretty pale right now. If I look tired or sick, it's only because I have been up for like two days straight with absolutely no sleep out of like a constant anxiety for how uh, everything is falling apart around me. But ahoy hoy and welcome to... <laughs> Where I go over only the... No, wait, it's SCP memes now. I took out the dank memes from Site19 because SCP is better for the search metrics. Yeah, so it has to be in the title. Anyway, S SCP memes. And I just want to say uh, there were not a lot of memes this week, apparently. Or at least not good ones. I got my list from Yasi, and it was not a very long list. Uh, so I picked out ones that I'm normally probably wouldn't have that I don't have might not have a whole lot to say about, but I'll um, I'm sure I can bullshit my way through it. Let's get started. <sighs> my SCP idea in my head, my SCP idea on paper. Spooky people looking at a camera, Jamba Juice, but scary. Honest to God, even if that is what like, I get the inclination that the uh, the, the the creator of this is trying to say that like Jamba Juice but scary somehow is an inferior product but it really isn't it's actually just as valid of a story idea if you can somehow make it work Jamba Juice but scary I mean maybe Jamba Juice but weird would probably be better than Jamba Juice but scary but uh, never been to a Jamba Juice actually should give that some consideration I also haven't eaten in, well, I ate some, but I didn't eat much anything yet at all yesterday. Just wasn't feeling it, you know? More anxiety, I think. What's a, I mean, <laughs> I was about to say, what does a Jamba Juice serve? Of course it serves juice. But what else do they serve? I'll have to look that up. Benjamin Franklin is an SCP. Panic. He's only a normal person who got resurrected and isn't dangerous. Calm. His penis grants reality-bending abilities. Panic. Ah, this one's included mostly because uh, it's about SCP-3313, which is one of mine. It's called Poor Richard, and it's about Benjamin Franklin's magical wish-granting uh, uh, thing. I'm not going to say... Why am I not going to say penis? I, I think I might get demonetized if I say it too many times. I don't want to get demonetized. Please, YouTube, I need the money. But uh, <laughs> every once in a while this comes up and someone's like, wait, that's a real thing? Or like someone will be like, hey, I wish Benjamin Franklin was an SCP. And I'll be like, he is an SCP. I wrote it. <laughs> Technically, I guess it's the the object is something else. But I, <sighs> oh, man, the rewrite of SCP-166, the whole SCP community. See, I don't think that's true. It's not the whole SCP community. This I talked about this on Monday? No, Tuesday. Why would I? I don't do videos on... I am very tired. I don't do mon videos on Monday, but I'm like, did I talk about this on Monday? Uh, anyway, on Tuesday, I was talking about how there's a different... There's like this divide, this artificial divide between on and off-site peoples. And part of that artificial divide, I think, is that sometimes the off-site people think that whatever, that, that I don't know anybody who liked the SCP-166 rewrite, so that must mean nobody likes it. Trust me, a vast majority of site authors and people who are registered on the site quite liked it. Personally, I think 166 is not a great article at its core, and the rewrite, which is barely a rewrite, to be honest with you, like, not much changes except the more problematic bits that involve it being a teenage succubus, which is... Why? Anyway, but, but that part's taken out, and instead it's turned into something a little bit less sexual. Harry Potter fans, I want to be a wizard. Star Wars fans, I want to be a Jedi. SCP fans, I'm good, thanks. I mean... If you got a brain in your head, you might think that, but there's plenty of SCP fans who are like, I want to be SCP-049, or I want to be SCP-173, wouldn't it be called Peanut, 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 Peanut? <sighs> Kids. 
I'm turning into a grumpy old man in my senility. 058. I think I forgot something, Clay. Uh, if you forgot, then it wasn't important. 058. Yeah, you're right. His daily dose of W Nestics. Yeah, forgetting to take your pills that let you remember things is probably a bad thing. If I had a nickel for every Ronald Reagan SCP that predicted the future, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. I am not... I have seen this before, The Atomic Adventures of Ronnie Ray Gun. I have not read it, nor do I remember which SCP number it is, but I do know SCP-1981. Ronald Reagan cut up while talking. It's good times. It's good times. I'm not entirely sure I even particularly like 1981, come to think of it, but it's a classic and people enjoy it. My SCP article be so short, then boom, seven addendums, three interviews, six experiment logs, and five. Yeah, um... Eh. If you don't have the writing chops to back up that kind of level, don't do it. Just write flash fiction. You don't have to write a short story. Like you can do like people are like, well, I thought you're you're don't you don't you advise people to include a narrative? I do because that makes it easier for you to get your story out there, but you can create a narrative in like uh 200, 300 words if you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, try until you do. Keep failing. <laughs> no one's ever becoming good at something until they're bad at it a lot so be bad at it a lot and learn how to do the thing that you need to do on the scp wiki which is create flash fiction the scp wiki has places for short story link stuff and has places for novel link stuff much much more rarely uh, but the vast majority of the stuff on the site is flash fiction sub 1500 words if you can't get your idea across in less than 1,500 words, you're not really writing for the SCP wiki so much as you're just writing short stories. Which is cool, but not really what the wiki's about? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash the Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted. Shit. Dr. J. I'll, no, I can do this. My brain is not entirely mush. I'm leaving this in. Dr. J Redacted. Sinjuriki, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It is, in this moment in time, very nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday. <laughs>